طلاب العربية طالبات العربية أهلا وسهلا بكم مرة أخرى في الدرس الحادي عشر وهو الضمائر يعني the pronouns الضمائر في العربية من نوعين pronouns are of two types بارزة يعني explicit ومستترة يعني implicit look at the two examples that we have here هي طالبة now here is a pronoun meaning she and you could clearly see the pronoun there that is an explicit pronoun تدرس العربية you don't see a pronoun here but if you look at the verb and its conjugation here is implied on the verb فهيه في الفعل and if you were to translate this into English you would say she studies Arabic however in Arabic since the verb is conjugated specifically with a pronoun, you don't need to mention the pronoun explicitly. الضمائر البارزة, the explicit pronouns, are of two types. من نوعين. منفصلة, يعني detached. ومتصلة, يعني attached to other words. المنفصلة, for example, هي طالبة. As you see, the pronoun here is detached and written by itself as a word. In the attached pronouns, تقرأ كتاب ها, the ها that's attached at the end is a pronoun, but it is written not independently, but attached to the word. Hence, the word منفصلة ومتصلة. الضمائر المنفصلة, the detached pronouns, are listed here in this table in which we will consider the first person, المخاطب, the second person, المخاطب, notice the fatha instead of the kasra, الغائب is the third person. This is how you would call first, second, and third person in Arabic. And then we will look at المفرد, as you remember, this means singular, المثنى, the dual, and الجمع, which is the plural. Here are your pronouns in Arabic. أنا, نحن, أنت, أنتي, أنتما, أنتم, أنتن, هو, هي, هما, هما, هم, وهن. الضمائر المتصلة, الضمائر that are attached to other words. تتصل بأقسام الكلام الثلاثة. What do they attach to? They attach to the three parts of speech that we spoke about in our lesson two. Remember those? Al-ismu, al-fa'lu, wal-harf. The noun, the verb, and the preposition. Look at the examples that we have here. Kitabu ki, kitabu is ism. And now the ki, which is the pro pronoun for you, feminine, singular, is attached to the noun. Look at the verb. A'rifu ki. Now the ki is attaching to a verb, meaning I know you, feminine singular. Al-harf, the preposition, min, is now joined to ki at the end to mean min ki, possibly meaning from you. Al-dama'ar al-muttasila, wa lahidu annana nasta'amil marra ukhra, المخاطب المخاطب والغائب المفرد المثنى الجمع بالنسبة لي أنا الإي تستعمل بعد اسم وحرف كتابي that's بعد اسم after now and لي بعد حرف however نستعمل ني بعد فعل after verb you use ني so we would say درسني يعني he taught me. Na our kitabuna or us. Kitabuka, kitabuki, kitabukuma, the two of you. Kitabukum, kitabukuna, kitabuhu, kitabuha, kitabuhuma, kitabuhuma, kitabuhum, wa kitabu hunna. Shukran jazilan. على انتباهكم مرة أخرى وأراكم في الدرس القادم إن شاء الله